Hello guys, welcome to our channel Village and History. Today video about my village as you can see the beautiful view of my village in this video you can see many vegetable crops like tomatoes, sunflowers, green chili and sugar can and also rice crops. I hope you all enjoy this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And enjoy this amazing view of my village and share my video thank you so much guys. Let's enjoy the video. Rice is one of the most important staple crops in the world, providing a significant portion of the world's population with a key source of sustenance. In this essay, we will explore the methods of rice crop cultivation and delve into the details of this crucial grain. Rice belongs to the grass family, Ariza sativa being the most commonly cultivated species. It is primarily grown in warm and humid regions, with flooded paddy fields being the traditional method of cultivation. However, other methods such as upland cultivation and the use of terraces are also employed in areas where water availability is limited. The process of rice cultivation begins with seed selection. High-quality seeds are chosen to ensure optimal growth and yield. Farmers either obtain seeds from their own harvest or purchase certified seeds from reputable sources. These seeds are then pre-treated to enhance germination and protect against pests and diseases. Harvesting is done either manually using sickles or mechanically using combined harvesters. The timing of the harvest is crucial to ensure maximum grain quality and yield. Harvested rice plants, also known as rice straw, can be utilized as animal feed or used as organic matter for soil improvement. After harvesting, the grains are separated from the harvested crop through a process called threshing. Threshing can be done manually by beating the harvested crop or using mechanical threshers. Once the grains are separated, they undergo drying to reduce their moisture content, typically to around 14%. The dried rice grains are then stored in appropriate storage facilities to prevent spoilage caused by moisture, insects, or fungi. Depending on the intended use and market demand, now it's bitter gourd visitable if you watching to our video subscribe to our YouTube channel Village and History press bell icon did you know? Bitter gourd, also known as bitter melon or Mamordica carantia, is a unique vegetable with several potential health benefits. Here are some of the benefits associated with consuming bitter gourd. 1. Nutritional value. Bitter gourd is low in calories and contains an array of essential nutrients such as vitamins A, C, and E, as well as minerals like potassium, magnesium, and iron. It also provides dietary fiber, which is beneficial for digestion. 2. Blood sugar control. Bitter gourd is often recommended for individuals with diabetes or those who want to regulate their blood sugar levels. It contains a compound called charentin, which has been shown to have blood glucose lowering properties. Additionally, bitter gourd may enhance insulin sensitivity, improving the utilization of glucose in the body. Antioxidant properties. Bitter gourd is rich in antioxidants, including flavonoids and phenolic compounds. These antioxidants help protect the body against oxidative stress, reducing the risk of chronic diseases and promoting overall health. Anti-inflammatory effects Some studies suggest that bitter gourd possesses anti-inflammatory properties. It may help reduce inflammation in the body, which is associated with various conditions such as arthritis, heart disease, and certain types of cancer. Immune system support Bitter gourd contains vitamin C, an essential nutrient for a healthy immune system. Adequate vitamin C intake can strengthen the immune response, protect against infections, and support overall immunity. Digestive health, bitter gourd is high in dietary fiber, which aids in digestion and promotes regular bowel movements. It can help prevent constipation and maintain a healthy digestive system. Weight management, bitter gourd is low in calories and high in fiber, making